that's how I get ready for a video. Hello Fo fam, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, make sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on those post notifications, and let's get started with a fun video. So today, we are throwing it back. We are gonna... <laughs> today we're gonna do a video that I used to do all the time, a drive with me. I find these to be really fun and exciting. I have a lot to talk about, a lot to get off my mind. Real quick, before we continue with today's video, I wanna talk about today's sponsor. It is my phone case. Casetify. So if you guys haven't heard of Casetify, let me tell you about literally my favorite phone cases in the entire world. And I'm not just saying this because it's sponsored. I've literally been using Casetify for I think two years now. They're the best cases. I've never had a complaint. Here's the one. I currently have my phone. It's like a little leather one and then I just threw a pop socket on. This one is one of my favorites because it is like super protective but still so cute. And I think that's why I love Casetify so much is usually when you're looking for a really protective case. They're like really ugly and bulky and annoying, but Casetify has really pretty and fun cases. Literally any design you could think of, they probably have, but if they don't, you can actually customize a lot of their cases. So like this one, I'm obsessed with this case. It is engraved with Sid Forsyth on it. And then I also have this one, which is so fun. It has a bunch of like SFs on it, and then you can literally like wear it. So like if I'm going somewhere and I'm not gonna bring my purse, this would be great. I was using this case for a while because look how protective it is. It has all these like bumpers on it and as you can tell it's still thin with your phone. It's not like super bulky. This case also has military grade drop protection. And think about it. You spend so much money on your phone. It's so important to find a good case that's going to be protective and Casetify is honestly the only ones that I can find that are protective and cute and still like small and slick with your phone. In fact, Casetify can survive like drops of six feet. Seriously, Casetify is my favorite case brand. I've used them forever. I trust them. I wouldn't promote them if I didn't. If you guys want to check out Casetify, you can go to casetify.com slash Forsyth, and you can get 20% off in matched cases with me or get a customized case that literally no one else will have. So once again, go check them out. The link will also be in the description and let's continue with today's video. First, I'd like to say I've been feeling like crazy lately and so I have this Spotify playlist called Psycho and it has like the weirdest songs on it. Yeah, if you're interested in that, um, my Spotify is Sid Forsyth, I think. Anyway, um, let's just start driving around. I have to go pick up Wingstop because today is date night with Dallin. So we're gonna eat Wingstop, probably watch a movie, hang out at the house. So I wrote down a bunch of points I wanted to talk about in my notes when it was like 3 a.m. I always get video, dot video ideas at like 3 a.m. Oh, safety first. So I have this little like setup on my dashboard. So that's why this is such like a from right there angle. That made no sense. I hope you understand. Let's leave my neighborhood. Let's catch up. How have you guys been? This is a little chat and drive with me type of vibe. I hope everyone is doing well. I am doing all right. I have a lot of mental health issues as always, but I'm working on it. I'm trying to be better. I've switched to a different birth control, which I think is helping, but at the end of the day, I still got those issues. Um, <laughs> wow, I'm just straight up opening up about everything. Okay, cool, it's fine. I've been trying to put more effort into being happy and healthy recently. My sleep schedule is really off, but I'm working on it. I'm trying to become a new, better person every day, which is hard but it's worth it. What is new in my life? Honestly, not much. You guys see everything that goes on. Going on a trip to Florida with all of my in-laws soon, which is gonna be really fun. That's in a couple of weeks. Oh, I'm going skydiving this weekend. My very first time, that's a bucket list thing. So that's gonna be really fun, I'm excited. So let's talk about my YouTube channel and like everything that I want to change basically. So let me, I'm at a stoplight. Let me pull up my notes. So recently I've been feeling just like every single video I post, I don't like. I'll spend hours editing it and then just end up deleting it. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I've been missing. I've been skipping posts every once in a while, which I really hate doing, but I just don't like the videos that I've been making and I get annoyed with myself and I don't want to post something if I don't love it. Cause then obviously you guys aren't going to like it. Um, I've been trying to switch more to like vlogging. Cause that's like how I started my channel. But I'm realizing that yes, I do like vlogging, but I'm honestly not that great at it anymore and I'm kind of realizing I don't really like to post every single thing I do on the internet 
I'm at such a different stage in life now than I was like obviously when I was in high school and like filming everything like I don't do crazy fun stuff every day and I honestly like being at home a lot and so vlogging I feel like just isn't it like yeah I still want to vlog if I do something fun but I don't want to feel like pressure like I always put pressure on myself if I'm doing anything fun remotely at all that I should vlog it and I don't want to feel that anymore so I kind of want to figure out like what do I want to post on my YouTube channel because I, I do I love doing YouTube but I kind of I have this love-hate relationship right now where I hate filming certain things and then I hate editing it I just hate it then I also whenever I do take breaks I hate not posting and not filming and not editing because that is like I'm like addicted to it in a way so yeah I just kind of want to talk about like what's been going through my mind and what I kind of want to change right now I'm gonna wait till I get to the parking lot though because I want to be able to read my notes that I wrote down Okay, I'm at Wingstop. I'm actually gonna run in, grab my order, and then I'll be back and we can talk. Oh my goodness, this smells so good. Oh, honestly, almost forgot my other drink was on the roof. Almost drove away with it. Merch in the description down below, as always. Okay, I moved to a parking spot where you can like actually see me. So hey, what's up? Um, where's my phone? <laughs> So basically, recently I feel like my channel has been a lot about like my personal life, like vlogs and just what's been going on, which I'm okay sharing that with about some things, but I kind of want my personal life to be a little bit more personal and less on the internet. I want my channel to just be more like fun, lighthearted, silly, where you can come to my channel and know you're just gonna laugh, have a good time, nothing serious. I also wanna act more like myself. I feel like I've just been like going through these moods where I just am not myself. I feel like I have to be this person on camera which I try to be my most authentic self on camera always but it's not always the case and I get awkward vlogging around people I just don't act like myself and then my videos are weird and then I'm uncomfortable and then I don't like editing it because I don't like it and I don't like myself in it so I want to just literally be like 100% my stupid self because I make stupid jokes and whether they're funny or not I'm just gonna start saying them on my channel and who cares I've been putting a lot of pressure on myself which is good pressure but I think I need a little bit of a break from it posting three times a week Tuesday Thursday and Sunday and sometimes that forces me to like push out a video that just wasn't that great not the greatest editing just throwing it together which I never want to be the case so I do want to still try to post three times a week but not put so much pressure on myself if I miss a post because right now I really do want to focus on quality over quantity making sure I actually like the video and myself in it and it's fun rather than just posting to post and I feel like you guys will appreciate that a lot more too I want YouTube to feel more like a hot to me because recently it has been feeling a lot more like a job which it is a lot of work it's hard work and it takes up like all day every day to do YouTube but I wanted to be like when I first started and I was falling in love with it and making videos was exciting and I couldn't wait to make the next one like I want to do that I don't want to make it feel like it's like my job almost like I'm making this video to like manifest these things to myself I want to like make more videos about like what's unique to me I feel like YouTube is so saturated these days that just making vlogs and stuff like there's no growth there it's not unique why would you watch me when it's just like every other person so like I want to make more videos about what makes me a unique person I'm married and I'm 19 I have the worst sleep schedule in the world I'm literally nocturnal like I'm not even kidding I stay up all night and as soon as the Sun goes up I go to sleep so maybe I'll make a video about that like stay up with me being nocturnal with me my 1 p.m. morning routine just like stupid stuff like that where I can just like show my personality and what's different about me I want to try to be a lot more authentic and overall I feel like all of these are really gonna help my mental health um, I've been putting so much pressure on myself recently and it's so hard like <sighs> I don't know YouTube gives me a lot of anxiety and um, obviously I post about my life and people comment about it whether it's good or bad in my head a hundred good comments could be ruined by one bad comment so as much as I do want to read the comments I also like don't because I don't I don't want it to affect the way that I felt about that video when it was a video I really like so I don't know just it's hard to explain but being on social media my whole life has definitely given me a lot of anxiety way more than I should be having because everyone's looking at me wondering what I'm gonna say about this topic or this issue or this 
this or that when really like I don't want to talk about anything serious I just want to like have fun like that's all I've ever wanted in life I don't take life seriously so why am I like acting like I do on my YouTube channel you know what I'm saying so I don't know I also don't really care about Instagram um, you guys can go follow me if you want but honestly I'm not gonna put so much pressure on myself to post all the time because I don't care if I take a cute pic I'll post it but like I'm tired of being like okay photo shoot photo shoot photo shoot gotta post like who cares literally who cares it's just a picture I don't care you guys probably don't care so why do I care I don't know I don't know I don't know even know why I'm making this video I just thought it'd be fun to like and like honestly informational to tell you guys what's been going on in my mind and like how I feel about YouTube right now I'm kind of feeling drained but I really want to keep doing it so I'm kind of trying to switch it up a bit so if you guys have ideas for what you want me to do in the comments let me know um I don't really know if I'm really gonna be too big on vlogging right now or if it is it's just gonna be like little sections of my day not like the whole day like I used to um once again I am still 19 I'm figuring out who I am who I want to be like what my life goals are and all that and it's it's really like extra stressful when I have a million people telling me what to think and what to feel and all that so I don't know I want to stop putting so many labels on myself and telling myself what I have to do I just want to do this for fun and to be stress-free about it I hope that made sense and like I hope you guys can support me and like the changes that my channel has gone through I it was like daily vlogs for a while and then it was only sit down videos now I don't know what's coming I want to do like cook with me videos and stuff like that I don't know I don't know what's gonna happen I'm really excited to kind of switch it up a bit um act more like myself be a little bit more authentic and see where it goes so yeah honestly there's not really much else to say that's just kind of what's in my mind i hope you guys can stick with me through my ups and downs as we all change as people um it can be really hard because people are constantly telling me how i'm changing it's like really i wonder why i'm a human humans change i don't know why i got so crazy about that obviously i'm a different person than i was when i started my youtube channel when i was 14 i'm now 19 i'm married i have a house i have two kids like two kids i have two cats they are my kids though so yes my life is different i have changed i am a whole new person i would be pretty mad at myself if i was the same person i was even a year ago so i hope you guys can still enjoy who i am today and as i continue to change so yeah that's pretty much it so on the drive home i'm gonna play some of my favorite songs jam out with you guys and then we'll be done if you guys want a playlist video soon let me know hey girl open the wall we'll be a perfect family Okay, honestly, this song, Dollhouse, is so good. I feel like everyone can relate, where like, you feel like you have to be perfect and everyone thinks you're perfect, but in reality, I am a human, I am not perfect, and I feel like that's where a lot of my anxiety and pressure comes from, is thinking like I have to be this perfect person who never messes up or makes a mistake, but in reality, I'm a human. And most people make mistakes not in the eyes of thousands of people, but I do it in front of thousands of people, and then I get judged for doing things that literally everyone else makes mistakes about. So yeah, there's just a, little rant also right now in life I just feel like I'm going through this like turning point of making a lot of big decisions that are gonna affect my future and so like I'm just going through a lot and my life is changing a lot but I I hope you guys can still like support and love me I love all of you guys so anyway let's jam this song is so good oh it's so good <laughs> This one. Ooh. I just wanna feel something. I just wanna feel feel like a person. I just wanna. I'm doing that thing where I get so excited where I cry. Oh my gosh, now I'm gonna cry because I feel like so much like myself and I feel so much like pressure relieved just telling you guys all this stupid stuff that was in my head and now I'm gonna cry. Cool. I love being an adult and having an emotional breakdown about literally everything. <sighs> I just wanna feel something, I just wanna feel Okay, well there are a few of my favorite songs on this little drive home. Honestly, I'm so down to do a playlist video. I know I just did this drive with me, but this was like a chatty one. So maybe in like a week I'll do like a playlist one. Cause I'm actually, I love the songs that I have in all my playlists right now. And I'm like emotionally attached to them, which I don't have, that doesn't happen that often with songs, but I've just been so emotional lately that I relate to everything. <laughs> but yeah, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, thank you for listening to me and like getting things off my mind together. Once again, thank you to Caseify, best cases ever, for sponsoring this video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!